Okay, so um, we're just gonna go right into this. Um, so if you wanna just tell us who you are, where you're from, and how you found it works. Okay, so my name is Emily Worsing. Um, where I'm from, Connecticut, small town, you know, the valley. Um, and how I found it works from Cassie, actually. So she was just posting on Instagram and she was saying how, you know, she was, uh, she's just, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what caught my attention. I guess just in the moment of time, like I really needed a job. So she's like, you know, I work from my phone. I'm not saying I, I don't know. It was just so random. There was really no reason why I joined, honestly. It was a big surprise to me. Did you know Cassie before it worked? I had no idea who she was, honestly. She just followed you on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you can just kind of, like, take us through your journey of, like, um, like, when you got started, like, how those first few months looked, and then, like, leading up to where you are now. Okay, so I started in November of last year, so 2015, I think, yes, um, gosh, so I was basically a distributor for a while, I hit Ruby like three, three or four, no, I would say like four months in, lost my Ruby, um, gained it back, lost it again, gained it back. And I was like, all right, this is boring. <laughs> um, come July, I studied abroad in Amsterdam and I was like, I want to make a lot of money. Like I kind of like, like this, but I keep going back and forth. And I was like, I don't want to play games anymore. Like I kind of just want to do it. So, um, I came back from studying abroad. Um, I started school in September and then I just worked my butt off because we had the bonuses for, um, diamond and double diamond I think and so I went diamond in September got a five thousand dollar bonus then the good bonuses came out in October wanted to get double didn't obviously still pushed and then in November the bonuses came out again and then I went double in November nice so you like we're back and forth between like being at distributor executive Ruby for a while before you like started promoting a long, a long time, basically. Like my head wasn't in the game until I would say like eight months in, which is a long time, but yeah, that's a long time. to like, it be was totally worth it, though. Doing anything. So were you like using the products during that time still? Like were you running an auto ship or were you just like, honestly, I was super broke, so it was hard for me to run an auto shipment. I made sure that I had 150 PVV at the time. Um, I wasn't super, super into the products. Like, I knew I knew they were awesome. Um, again, like, my head was totally not in, in the game whatsoever. Like, and I knew that was – now I know, like, that was the reason why, like, nothing was really happening. Um, but uh, once I just started – using my resources, like going on YouTube, like talking to my upline, um, spending more time with like people in it works, um, learning more things than it finally like clicked in my head, I guess. <laughs> I really don't know what it was. I get asked this question a lot, but um, <laughs> something just clicked in my head. I guess I just realized um, that I wanted more and I didn't really know what I wanted to do after college and it was my last semester. So I was like, all right, this is a little weird. Like, I still don't know what I want to do. Um, and then I like started falling in love with um, the business during the summer. So I was like, let's just take off with this and see what happens. So would you just like reach back out to Cassie? Like, I want to get started, like, and take this serious. What do I need to do? Basically, yeah, I just... I went on YouTube and I started studying like ambassadors, YouTube pages, literally like finding anything and everything that um, I can learn that they did, I guess, you know, um, that was really it. I mean, I started hanging out with Cassie Moore. I'm blessed that she's like lives around us. I know a lot of people don't have that, but like girls on my team, for example, who don't live around me and 
I mean, I'm here 24 seven. If like they want to get on a zoom or FaceTime or chill, you know, like I'm always there because I know surrounding yourself with, um, people who do the same thing as you, um, is a lot more beneficial, but some of us aren't lucky enough to do that. So I, even like when I'm not with them, like I'm constantly talking to my girls and I think that helps a lot. Makes a big difference. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I know I heard, I think it was on the training that you and Steph did with Jocelyn. Uh, when you started this, was it you or Steph that was working like a bunch of jobs? You had a bunch, did you have a bunch of jobs? Yeah. I think Steph had one or one or two jobs. We both were working a lot. I like, for some reason, have always been a maniac with jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I've always had multiple. So I was like working for a car appraisal company. I was waitressing and I was nannying. So I was working a lot. Full full time. Yeah, not all full time. Um, that you was, were in school. Yeah, oh yeah, I was in school full time. Yeah, so I was have working three jobs and going to school full time. Insane. <laughs> so how did you when you start? Because you you got to Ruby. So like, how did you make a balance between your jobs and and school and working your business? Well, I mean, I guess it was the fact that I was still struggling with money and it didn't make sense to me. So when I realized the possibilities, I just found a way to fit it in. You know what I mean? We, we like preach all, I mean, I preach all the time to my girls. If you need this extra money, you can find a way, you know what I mean? I'm on my phone all the time. Anyways, I was 21 when I, or actually I was 20 when I started. It doesn't matter your age, really. Just social media now is huge. And even if you're not on social media, I'm sure you're texting all the time. So I just, like, really thought about it. It's like, why not just instead of sitting on my phone watching TV, doing nothing, or watching TV, and that's it. Like, let's multitask a little more. I just figured out a way, or even if it was, like, an extra hour throughout the day just to fit it in, like, I just made it work. You know what I mean? I don't think – I don't think there's really – any excuse that I could understand, I mean, to a point um, that you can't fit this business in your, in your day, um, a little more at least, so. I feel the exact same way. Like when people say I don't have time, I'm like, you, it's not that you don't have time, it's that you're not making it a priority. No, I, complete, I completely agree, yeah. So, um, <sighs> So what, I mean, you kind of said that you were in Amsterdam and you just, you, you were in Amsterdam? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> actually, oh, yeah. um, I think, actually it was in June before, right before I left for Amsterdam when I decided to like take off of the business. So. Was it for like fear that like you weren't going to have money while you were like away because you obviously weren't going to be working if you were going away for school? I think it, it was definitely fear because when I um, told my main job or basically I was making the most money from that I was going away um, she said I would have a spot when I came back and then I found out that I basically didn't so I was like this is annoying like <laughs> you know what I mean like I I don't want to come back and be broke I don't live with my parents and even when I did or even now like they were never able to really give me a lot you know what I mean so living by myself or with my boyfriend like I had to take care of myself so I didn't really have another option you know what I mean and I didn't want to get another job that I hated um so I was like why not just like take off of this obvious like there's so many possibilities like the lead like us leaders we don't post like our lives and like the opportunities for nothing you know what I mean so when I finally started reading more into them and really seeing like what we what I could do um, that's really what made me take off, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, so a lot of people say that, like, like you promoted to, um, di you said diamond in September and then double in November. Yeah. So that's what a lot of people call, like, our slow quarter is this time of the year. So how did you feel, like, deciding to push for a promotion during a slow season? Um, 
I guess because I didn't want to wait, I knew I was graduating in December and I didn't want to get a job. <laughs> like I didn't want another, I didn't want to get a job. I, I, I don't really enjoy much besides doing this. So I was like, listen, like, <laughs> I don't care what I have to do, but I'm not getting a job when I graduate college. Cause this is what I want. I mean, this is a job, I guess, but I don't want to like get another job that I don't like. So I just like hauled, I just hauled it. And the bonuses came out too. And they haven't, um, like they weren't out last fall, I don't think. So no, they weren't. Like, this is crazy. Like this is my opportunity. And I knew if I built myself up now that come January and February, like I can do double or triple like what I would have been. Yeah. Awesome. So you do you feel you don't feel like it was like any harder trying to build, like pushing for um, going double in November than like when you started like taking off with your business in the beginning of the summer when it was still like busier? Honestly, again, like I get asked this question all the time and I enrolled more than I ever have in the quote unquote slow season than I ever have like in this business. It's insane. I don't, I, I personally don't think like there's a slow season. I, I don't get what people mean. I mean, I do and I don't, um, but I've enrolled like insane compared to every other month that I've been in this business. So I don't think there's a slow season. <laughs> have this I had Nayara on our Zoom a couple weeks ago and she said the same thing. She's like, yeah. the slow season is all in your head. Yeah, def it definitely is. Um, yes and no, like, if you, if you keep saying it's a slow season, then I think that that's where you're going to attract. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, people, obviously during the holidays, you're trying to not necessarily save, but you're also like buying presents. So why not turn that around and have people buy presents like from us for other people? So you just got to try to work it in, I guess. Yeah, for sure. So do you do parties or do you like meet up with people and wrap them or do you just build on social media? I totally build on social media. 100%. Do yeah. you have Facebook and Instagram or just one? I do Instagram and Facebook. Do you feel like you sign more on one than on the other? Definitely Instagram. Do you cold message on Facebook or like message your friends on Facebook like you do with Instagram? Um, I do, but not as much if I'm, if I'm promoting and I'm like really, really, really trying to push, um, then I will on Facebook. I like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little harder with Facebook because just like how it's organized, I think Instagram is a lot easier because I don't know, for some reason, like when you go to look up the, your friends on Facebook, they're not in order of how you added them. It's just really disorganized for me, but it may work for other people, so. Yeah, no, I know, like, like Sarah Nierman built, like, built to triple pretty much, like, on doing on Facebook. Like, she does a lot of messaging on Facebook and stuff, and, like, for me, I don't really message on Facebook. Like, I mostly use Instagram. Yeah, I mean, whatever works best. Like, something may not work for me that works for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... So what would be your biggest tip for someone who is at like a distributor or executive level that wants to promote to Diamond or Double Diamond over the next three months? Oh boy. I mean, my best advice is self-development every day. Like that's the main thing that got me through most of this. That's really it. I mean, obviously to make that much money, you have to like put in a lot of work. So going, going diamond and double, like I was eating and sleeping at works basically. Like I, I love going out. I love hanging out with my friends. I love partying. Like I'm 22. Like I like to have fun, but obviously I sacrificed a lot of that. I even sacrificed time with my family. Um, but I mean, it was only for like a month or two, you know what I mean? It's so small. Um, you know, it's through the holidays, so of course, like, I still saw my family and whatnot, but you just have to sacrifice things. That's really it. That, that's my best advice. Um, and just not, not give up, you know what I mean? If, if you don't hit a goal when you want to, it doesn't mean that 
you can't do it the next month. Like when I was trying, trying to go double in October, I was upset because I, I, I was claiming that I was going double, but deep down inside I knew like it just wasn't my time. Um, but I still like called, you know what I mean? So in November it was, it was easier for me because I, I didn't give up and I didn't slow down. Yeah. I think that's super important. Like I know like <clears throat> the month that <clears throat> I kept saying that I was going diamond in February, um, when Mark had first announced the double good bonuses this year <clears throat> and I had built my fiance from distributor um, and had him, he enrolled in December and I had him charted for Emerald in like the first week of February and we just needed like a ton of volume. And I kept saying I was going diamond, going diamond, going diamond and damn if I was not up until it was one o'clock in the morning here mm -hmm. trying to enroll everyone that I could. And then the next month it was like so much easier to get there because I had already filled so much volume the previous month and like have that momentum going. So I love that. I think that's like super important to like keep pushing through all the way to the end, even if like you see that last day that it's not happening. Exactly. And you'll just be like pissed at yourself. Like yeah. I should have tried harder. I mean, there's going to be upsets and everything. You're going to fail your way to success. That's just, that's just how life is. You know what I mean? Um, you just have to stay positive and it's hard like especially when you first start off I knew I was like really discouraged because I wasn't making a lot so I didn't really see big paychecks it's not like I believed it because I saw people like getting them like Cassie for example you know what I mean like I physically saw I'm in her house that is made from it works cash you know what I mean but it's hard for me because I physically didn't have it but you have to get that out of your head you know what I mean you need to just have tunnel vision I guess and just, I listened to videos and just self-developed every day. Like the second I got down on myself or wasn't positive, like I did something to fix it as soon as I happened. So what do you do for self-development? Do you read? Do you listen to audibles? Um, I don't like reading <laughs> at all. Um, so I buy a lot of audiobooks, definitely. Just YouTube videos, I mean the internet literally is obviously amazing. So you can just Google like self-development. You know what I mean? There's millions and millions of things out there. Yeah. Um, I heard you, I don't know if you said it or you typed it somewhere, maybe mm -hmm. um, you wrote somewhere that like you're really big on affirmations. Yeah. I have really bad anxiety. So I just always have like the devil, I guess, in the back of my head, like telling me that I can't do something or if like I'm way far ahead of myself and like I'll just randomly like think like negative. That's just me. Um, and I totally blame my anxiety for it, but obviously it's not going to stop me. So I write affirmations every single day and that's why I'm big with self-development. Basically, you, you like physically write down new affirmations every day. Yeah. Just like whatever you're thinking, feeling. Yeah, basically, I just, you know, I just talk positive. You know, I'll, for example, I'll be like, my team's on fire. Like, my team are literally, we're mass enrollers. But, or I, I, every day I wake up, like, I'll claim that I'm enrolling three distributors and five loyal customers. That's it. And you write it down too. Yeah, I'll write it down. I'll say it. That's it. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but it's also very simple and it makes a huge difference. I've, I found that when I started like saying affirmations out loud that things started changing in my business. So. You have uh, much the secret then. That's basically where it comes from, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, I've like, I've seen that movie so many times. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what does your day look like? Um, like how many hours do you think you're like physically working every day? Like, I don't know if you're pushing for another promotion rate right at this very moment. Mm -hmm. Um, like, I don't know if you're pushing for triple this month, but like, what is like your day to day look like? Honestly, <laughs> I I mean, I'm not going triple this month, but I know that I'm going to go triple in the beginning of next year, next year. So I'm pushing as hard 
as if I were going triple this month. It's a lot of work, you know what I mean? Like not to scare people. I think Jade actually said this in her Zoom the other day, but I literally eat, sleep. It works like 24 seven, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the middle of enrolling like a distributor or a low customer and someone texts me and I'm in the shower, like I'll get out to finish enrolling them. Like I, that's just me. <laughs> I, I just have to do it. Um, I'm fully committed 24 seven to this. Um, and again, like it's scary cause it's a lot of work. Um, but it's so worth it in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Who can say that they make six figures a month? like on their phone. I would, I would do anything, you know what I mean? Not, and nothing can stop me or get in the way. That's just, that's how it is. I mean, would you, would you want to, I just think back, like I remember waking up and going to bed every single day, worrying and stressing about money. Like it's the worst feeling in the world. So why not haul, haul ass, I guess. Um, and be happy. You know what I mean? Money, money isn't everything, of course, but you're also helping people. You're changing people's lives. I really don't think there's much better <laughs> than that in life um, to help others and obviously help yourself along the way. Yeah, no, for sure. Like people always say like money doesn't buy happiness, but not having money makes people miserable because no, I really agree. you like, don't have money. You can't pay your bills. You're fighting with your spouse. You Mm -hmm. can't get groceries or buy diapers for your kid or like whatever it is like that's a shitty feeling it is it's horrible and we have something so like what we do I tell people all the time like what we do is a lot of work but it's easy work like I think what we do is super easy you message people you post on social media and you talk to people <laughs> like I agree I say that all the time too you know the, the job itself is super easy. Yeah. You're just like, you have to commit to it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think someone asked like the other day, I think in the diamonds page and she was like, someone was asking her like why she sees all these people um, like signing up and then not doing anything. And like that, that girl was the only girl that she was like following her friends with on Facebook that, um, like kept like promoting and stuff with the business and it's like it's because like anyone can do this business but not everyone's going to do this business because it it is like a lot of work it is um but you just have to have the mindset and i guess i mean not not i guess but everyone says it you know you just have to take your why and like plaster it everywhere seriously like i write it i mean I think I still think about it every single day just to me like stressing about not knowing how you're going to pay a bill or like live your life um, the next day. Like it's the worst feeling in the world. So that's really it. I mean, you just got to take your why and like multiply it times a thousand. And if like that's not working out for you, then you just need to write it down and like put it all over your room. You know what I mean? Um, I had it everywhere when I was promoting and that helped me out a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, so do you have like a system that you follow daily? Like, do you like, me like I know like Nayara was saying to like telling us like she messages 10 people every hour on Instagram and then like she's like following up and getting phone numbers and whatever. Like, do you have like a system that you go about with like when you're posting, how much you're posting, um, like how much you're messaging and stuff? Honestly, <laughs> I'm really disorganized, like I was telling you before, but <laughs> now, that, now that this is what I do full-time and I just graduated, I guess it's very different because when I was working a bunch and going to school, I didn't have um, like hours throughout the day where I could touch my phone or my computer, whatever. So I would just make sure that I message 100 people a day. Like if it was – a hundred people in the morning that I would, that I would have to figure out a way to do that. You know what I mean? Um, I know we get blocked and whatnot, so you can like spread 50 out in the morning, 50 out at night. Um, everything is really disorganized for me, but I just make it happen. That's it. You know what I mean? If I don't do the, if I don't message ad and post every day, then I'm not like doing my job. So even if it's disorganized, like I'm still going to do it. That's just what it is. It's like organized chaos. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> How many times a day do you post? Like, do you post a three-three rule or? 
I post three to five times a day. I will post like two at works posts in a row. Um, I don't really follow the three fee rule, I'll be honest. Um, it's kind of just how I'm feeling. I notice um, I get a lot of action when I post more at works, I guess. Um, so why not just post more? <laughs> that just makes sense to me sometimes. But obviously, you you have to figure it out with your schedule. You know what I mean? If you can't find time to post three or five times a day, then like I was messaging 10 times more a day. You know what I mean? So um, no one's going to be perfect in this job. Like no one's, we're all not going to have the opportunity to have that perfect schedule. Like all lives are crazy. You know what I mean? But you just got to figure out you just got to figure out how to do it um, no matter how hard it is obviously so you like make it a goal that like every day you message at least 100 new people yeah mm -hmm. and that's like giving you the results that like you needed to get to where you wanted to be this year yeah I mean honestly while promoting I'll definitely message anywhere from two to three hundred a day um, but it all depends like for me I'm a very like on the spot person like I don't take no for an answer so messaging a hundred people for me could mean like five loyal customers you know what I mean it all depends I, I think mindset is everything um, if what you're doing isn't working for you like if you're messaging a hundred times a day and you're not like seeing results you're getting like customers and you probably just have to change something around I know that I had to um, I was frustrated because I wasn't enrolling but I was doing like what everyone was saying to do so one day I just like went to Cassie's and I was like Cassie take my phone and please look through it and tell me what I'm doing wrong so I just had to switch up conversations with people that literally that was it like so simple um and like I said I just claimed that I was getting that I get like two distributors or three low customers a day that's just it you just claim it you don't you don't want it you don't think it you don't say like I want to like anything that's semi-negative or not 100% positive like I always tell my girls like no you're not you're not gonna try to do it you're just gonna do it you know what I mean you just have to believe it and always like reach high like have high goals because if I'm saying that I want five below customers today and I get four then I'm gonna be freaking happy still you know what I mean yeah so um that's my best advice I guess how many how many customers and distributors do you enroll like on average a month um the last couple months, anywhere from like 30 to 50 loyal customers and anywhere from 15 to 20 distributors. That's awesome. That's just from like messaging and do people, do you find that people message you a lot or is it you doing out the, doing the like initial reaching out? This month I made it a goal to start posting more. Um, and I definitely see more people coming to me, but I would say 85, 90% is me reaching out first. People are weird. Like they, for some reason, don't want to make the first contact with us. Mm -hmm. It's annoying and it's frustrating, but that's fine because <laughs> I'm just going to message you. Then I get a lot of responses like, oh, I see your posts all the time. I'm so curious. I always wanted to know what you do. And I'm in the back of my head like, well, why didn't you ask me? <laughs> um, so I'm totally for, like, just messaging people. It, it stinks. But, I mean, obviously, um, posting is going to save time during conversations, I guess, because they kind of already know what you're doing, even though you went to them first. But um, messaging people first, definitely. Um, okay, to get just, uh, yeah, what do you say to get people's phone numbers? I say, actually, what do I say? I don't know. I kind of like flipped it around. I, I just say like, you know, could we talk? Um, could we text? It's just a lot easier to talk that way. Like it's, I'm so simple with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like literally like, can I text you? <laughs> yeah. I don't be like demanding. I don't be like, what's your number? Um, I'm just like, Hey, like, do you think? we can text. It's just a lot easier to communicate that way. But I'm, I'm very friendly when I talk, you know what I mean? I try to be as enthusiastic and positive with people as possible. So, um, 
I guess, asking for their phone number after that, there's more of a chance of them giving it to me. But I do get people who say like, no. And obviously I, I tell them I totally understand you know, because I wouldn't suggest my children to give their phone numbers out to people on, on social media. But either way, you know what I mean? Like yeah. <laughs> if they don't want to give me their phone number, I'll ask if they want to add me on Facebook or I'll just become oh, friends with them really quick. And then I'll be like, all right, can we text? Because it's totally a lot easier. And then they'll give me their number. <laughs> um, I had someone ask me the other day. They're like, well, can I just email you for now? And I'm like, well, I'll just talk to you on here then. Because, like, yeah, yeah. this is easier than email. Like, let's not make it more complicated. Yeah, it's definitely. They're like, never check my emails. Um, so... You're in, so you're enrolling a lot of customers every month. Are these people that you're enrolling like on the spot or is it mostly like follow-ups from people that you've been messaging and with for a while? If I enroll someone, it's either on the spot or within the next like two or three days. I'm really pushy <laughs> and I don't take no for an answer. So I don't let people just kind of drift away. I don't think that's reliable. So I tell my girls all the time, I'm like, listen, like, this is your job. Like, you need to be professional. You know what I mean? You, if someone's interested, either in the business or the products, and they seem like 90% positive, um, for example, if someone's like, I don't know, there's like so many things, but if someone's like, all right, um, can I order tomorrow? That's when I get paid. I don't just say, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll follow up with you tomorrow. I'm like, okay, what time do you get paid? And if you're 100% positive, like, I will save the spot for you. Um, I'm tr I just try to lock people in, like, 150% because people sleep on things. People go on Google and read bad reviews, unfortunately. Um, but, again, there's bad reviews for everything, but – Sure. People are just weird like that, you know what I mean? So they just talk to other people and tell them about this, and then someone throws them off. Like, so many things can happen, so I lock, I lock them in. <laughs> That's a gotcha. I can. Now, what about for the distributors? Are they signing up, like, right away, too, or do you fall, have to follow up with people more? It's very rare that I sign up a distributor on the spot, but I feel like that's normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, being a distributor is like a big jump. Um, but I'm kind of the same exact way with them. I flip everything around. So if they give me an excuse or they say they're busy or they can, or even when I like cold message someone and they say like, Oh no, I totally can't. Like I, I have three jobs, blah, blah, blah. Thanks. Anyways. Like I always will write back and like switch it up on them. You know what I mean? I say like, well, this is the perfect job for someone who's busy um, already and wants to make some extra money. And sometimes if not most of the time, like I'll catch their attention. You know what I mean? Um, but I literally never take no for an answer unless someone has a really, really, really good <laughs> reason, I guess. Do you find that, like, the people that, like, you kind of, like, like, I don't, how do I word this? Do you find that, like, be, like if you're, like, pushy with them and then, like, they do enroll, like, they're not as eager to, like, work and get started? Um, honestly, um, no, because like when I say being pushy, it's not like I'm saying, listen, like you have to do it today. Like it's now or never, you know what I mean? I mean, I'll say that sometimes if I'm like talking to this person for months, but, um, I'll like be motivating pushy if that makes sense. So like if someone's giving me excuse about like how they don't have the $99 to start up. I'm like, listen, no one does. Like everyone joins because they don't have the money. I was like, you can find this way. Like let's, let's find a way for you to get this money because you need to join as soon as possible. Like this is the best time to do it. Like my only regret was that I waited to join, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a motivating pushy, I guess you would say. Um, I'm not rude. <laughs> like persuasive. Um, 
Yeah, persuasive, I guess. And as I'm doing that, I'm, I'm motivating them. So, of course, like when they when they do join, they they're, they're motivated. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you've been like pumping them up. Um, so when you're like getting people's phone numbers, sorry, I didn't put this on the thing, but so if you're like having convers like, like talking to people before they sign up as distributors or whatever, do you talk to them like in between following up with them on Fridays? Like do you keep a conversation going with them or do you just like, you said distributors, right? Yeah. Distributors. Um, or do you just like follow up on Fridays? Like, Honestly, <laughs> again, like following up on Friday for me is not really, it doesn't really exist because if someone, unless someone truly, truly says like, I get paid on Friday, like I have to do it then, then I will. But um, people get paid like different times of the weeks always, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, um, usually like I lock them in, everyone in at different times and I never leave a conversation at a dead stop. So a lot of people um, will say like, you know, if a loyal customer or distributor just stops answering you just to follow up with them on Friday, like I follow up with them two hours later. <laughs> like I'll follow up and be like, Hey girl, like, have you been thinking about it? Or if they like read my text and didn't answer, I'll text them that night and be like, listen, like, did I say something wrong? Like, did I piss you off? Cause I saw that like they read my text. Yeah. Plus like, like me, I get distracted all the time and I forget to answer a lot of people. So that happens a lot with customers or distributor, like potentials I'm talking to. So like, don't be afraid to text them a couple hours or that night or even the next morning and be like, Hey girl, like, have you, have you been thinking about, like, did you think about it um, last night about joining or like for the product, for an example, I'll be like, Hey girl, like I, I feel like you got distracted last night. Like I get distracted all the time. So I saved your spot. Like, do you want this? Cause spots are, they're filling kind of quick. You know what I mean? I don't want you to miss out. Um, so that's what I mean by like kind of being pushy. Um, but I won't like text them a, a second. Or three. Like you won't go like a few days without talking to someone once you have their phone number. Basically, yeah. So it's either I follow up that night or the next morning and they'll order or join or they say, you know, I really don't have the money till I get paid Friday. I'm like, listen, that's awesome. If you're 100%, I will save you this spot for Friday. And then it, it works out. Do you talk to like your potential distributors about like life stuff in between? Like, you know, like how is this money? Like, like what are you going to do with this money? Or is it just like keep following up like every day until they join? If the convo is kind of dead and I'm, at, I'm stuck, I always send um, the, com the chart, the commission chart or whatever of like how much we make. The monthly income thing. And I'm like, I'm like, girl, like, where would you want to be? Like, what is your goal? And that starts like a whole new conversation. Because they're like, holy shit, people are making this much money <laughs> from their phone. Um, I mean, to your question, do you feel like being like pushy gets you blocked? Um, not like, n not really. If I do get blocked, it's rare. Um, it and also like I said, I'm pushy, but not too not. Much. like if <laughs> if I I'll follow up once, and if that person doesn't answer me, I probably won't follow up again until like a week. Then, but I'll always I won't like. I guess I'm trying to say I always follow up the same day the conversation shop stops, if not the next morning before I follow up like in a week if that makes sense i get what you're saying so like you'll like talk to them because you get everyone's phone number right away you said yes i do so you get their phone number so now you're texting with them so if they stop answering you'll like text them again that night or the next morning and then if they don't say anything you'll wait a few days and then text them again yeah okay 
actually. Um, but that's really it. Like I won't, I won't go too crazy. Um, but it also depends like what you're saying. I think Jessica, oh, Jessica, if you, if you're like getting blocked like a lot, then maybe you're being like way too pushy um, or you're just saying the wrong things. So it all depends. You know what I mean? You kind of have to feel people out. If they're super interested, you know what I mean? Then I'm, I know that following up in an hour is not going to bother them because they're super interested and they want the product. You know what I mean? So I'll always like mention that there's only a spot left or that like right now I've been using like that it expires at um, the last day of the year. Um, so that, you know, you don't want people to lose out. You're trying to help them. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, your baby is so small. I don't see a baby. Where's the baby? Oh, Sammy's baby. Oh my goodness. Sammy's a peanut too. So <laughs> she was like pregnant and she was like Courtney Lavi, like just belly and everything. Oh, yeah. Super not pregnant. So if you like saw her from the back, you wouldn't know she's pregnant. <laughs> um, so you've seen, so you didn't really like work a lot during like the boom season because you weren't like pushing for promotions. No, I'm honestly like nervous. I'll be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. But, but you've seen the other people around you, like your upline and si like sidelines and stuff, do crazy things during the boom. So, like, I what? Was like, I was so oblivious, though. I'll be completely honest with you. If I like was. How really busy it was? <laughs> what? But like, how busy it was? Yeah, or like, I, I was kind of close to Cassie then, but not really, because I just started. Um, and I didn't take it seriously, you know what I mean? So I guess like if you, if you are in it and you're really excited about this, then you're on a complete different level that I was on last year. I was so oblivious. Like I knew the bonuses were out. Like I don't even remember last year almost like about the bonuses. Like that's how oblivious I was. I was in a whole different world. I, w I feel like I wasn't even a part of it works cause I just, my head wasn't in the game. So I guess if like you guys are motivated like for this already, then you're like you're way like you're a bunch of steps ahead of me and where I was a year ago. So that's you're, a good sign. You're like nervous going into next month. I am. I feel like it's gonna. I mean, I'm like nervous, ha nervous, excited. I guess. Are you going to conference? Yes, I am. The conference is going to be my first It Works event, and I've been in the business for almost two years, so I'm super wow. excited. Um, That's exciting. Well, I was going to ask you, what advice do you have for people going into the boom? <laughs> um, Honestly, I mean, I guess, I guess since I, I, I guess since the fall was kind of a boom season for me, um, so kind of technically I went through it already. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> this is a hard question. Um, You're just, just going to like go for it. You're just going to keep yeah, doing it. Yeah, that's do. just really it. Honestly, like when my girls ask me that or ask me advice, I just say like, you know, just take action. Just do it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. again, like there's a difference between wanting it and, in in like saying you're going to do it and imagining it, but you just have to believe it. You know what I mean? You have to claim it. You have to say you're going to do it. You have to wake up every day and have it in your mind. Like you need to eat, sleep, um, <laughs> and freaking shower and poop and pee. It works. Like it's gross, but like you just have to do it, guys. That's it. Like I don't want to scare you, but you just need to do it, especially if you're reaching for high goals. You know what I'm saying? Like especially for diamond and above, like that's insane. You just have to dream it. When your eyes are shut, like I, when my eyes are shut, like I'm still thinking it works, no matter how annoying it gets. Sometimes, like you just have to do it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, <laughs> I like can't go to sleep at night right now. Like yeah. 
I was one of the people that like went through like the weird funk this year, um, you know, and um, now like now that like Jade is back and like um, I don't know what just happened. Um, now, why can't I see what's going on? I have no clue what's going on. Okay. Um, now that, like, Jade is, like, back on her, like, A-game and, like, doing these trainings with us and stuff, like, I'm just, like, super amped up. So now it's, like, all I'm thinking about is, like, like like going double diamond in January and like going triple in March. And like, that's all that like, I'm like thinking about and focusing about. So like, even like, I'm so tired at night and I lay down to like go to bed and I'm like, I can't turn my brain off <laughs> because I'm just like thinking about everything that's going on. And like, I I'm going like crazy I mean, person I'm kind of the same way to the point where like when I do eventually lay down, like I just fall asleep actually <laughs> and oh, that's like, never gosh, I'm like on crack yeah no exactly just because I'm working like my butt off literally all day um it's like I was working out all day <laughs> but I wasn't <laughs> um but you just gotta work for it I mean it's just like anything else in life um nothing is gonna come easy to you especially if you want to be making with that that much money you know what I mean for sure um, that's really it yeah <laughs> that's like I know like when I got like my first double my first diamond check and Jamie's emerald check and they had the double good bonuses in them like I had never made that much money in a month in my life and I was like well that's why I had to work so hard last month to like earn this paycheck mm -hmm. um I mean Jade talks about how she worked 18 hours a day when she was like going for presidential and ambassador so I guess I it's mean, just like all what you put into it. Exactly. And people like you may like get nervous when you hear that, but if you're working eight hours a day at a job, you're getting paid $10 dollars an hour. Like what's I mean, there's a huge difference. Like you can be home doing that, you know what I mean, with your family. Not a hundred percent, but um, you just have, you just, I don't know. I just feel like nothing is, is better than this. Like this opportunity is amazing. You know what I'm saying? So that's also another thing. Like there's literally nothing that I can personally think of that would be better than this. Like I love, I would, I want to do this 24 seven, um, because I want bigger and better things for myself and my family and my future and for other people. Um, and as you grow, obviously, like your mind grows and your dreams grow. So, yeah. I don't ever want to go back to like a real job. So oh <laughs> that's God. like a big I, motivation I, for me. I'm like, dude, if I had to get up and like start going back to the salon every day and like listening to annoying women bitch while I do their hair, like, exactly. <laughs> I don't ever want to do that again. So I'll oh, avoid that at all costs. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can never go back. <laughs> I tell Jamie all the time, I'm like, I'm never, I'm never going back to work just so you know. And he's like, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, whatever. Yeah. Um, so does anyone have any questions for Emily before we end this? If you do, you can just like type them in the chat. Thank you for doing this with us tonight. This was really great. Okay. Um, if no one has any questions, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna upload this to my YouTube page, but it will be unlisted, so I'll just send you the link so that you have it. Um, cause I don't like let I don't make any of my like trainings that I do with other leaders. I don't make them like public on YouTube, so <laughs> I'll send you the link for it. Um, but thank you. This was really great. Um, yeah, good luck to everyone. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> don't be nervous. I'm like, I'm really excited for, um, I'm really excited for like conference and stuff. And then I'm, I'm excited for whatever Mark's going to announce on January 1st. Cause like, I'm like, well, he brought back the good bonuses this month and then he brought the like, get your good back thing. 
So like now that we're starting first quarter, I feel like he's going to announce something like bigger. Yeah. It's so, going to be insane. I'm excited. 